tens of thousands of demonstrators gathered in Washington on November 14 for a march for Israel to show solidarity with Israel in its war with Hamas and condemn rising anti-Semitism, streets were closed around much of downtown amid heightened security, as people gathered in bright sunshine on the National Mall, many draped in Israeli and U.S. flags. Protests and public demonstrations, both pro-Palestinian and pro-Israel, have rippled around the world since gunmen from the Palestinian militant. Group Hamas rampaged through southern Israel on October 7, killing 1,200 people, according to Israel, and taking about 240 hostages back to Gaza. Israel responded with a strict blockade on Hamas-controlled Gaza and an aerial bombardment and ground offensive that Palestinian authorities say has killed more than 11,000 people, around 40 percent of them children. We know we are again a one fighting family. Family which is so strong which is so, has so much love. And you know that there is only one outcome in this battle, our victory. Now, whatever our different political beliefs and views are about what's happening overseas, you do not have to support all the policies of Israel to support and love and stand with all the people of Israel during a time of profound mourning. During a time of profound mourning. That's why I'm here. I pray for peace, no more rockets from Gaza, and no more bombs falling down on the people of Gaza. God protect the children, God protect children. Let's end all the horror and all the heartbreak in the Holy Land. Let's end all of it. Let's end all of it. Dear friends, as President of the State of Israel, Medinat Israel, I vow to you from Jerusalem, from the Kotel, that we will heal, we will rise again, and we will rebuild. Our ancestors risked everything to reestablish themselves in America, a country they dreamed would be free of Jew hatred. Unfortunately, that dream has not yet been realized. Thanks to this great nation, we don't have to resort to flight. We can fight with our voices, our votes, and our feet. Israel, we in America have your back. America feels your pain. We ache with you. We stand with you. And we will not rest until you get all the assistance you need. As Prime Minister Netanyahu says so well, this is a fight between good and evil between light and darkness, between civilization and barbarism. The calls for a ceasefire are outrageous. We stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. Thank you.